This video will show how to add an item to your inventory. Click Inventory at the top to access the inventory screen. If you have permission to create items and add to inventory, you will see this Add Item to Inventory option. Clicking this will bring you to the Add Inventory Items screen. We recommend specifying an inventory type first. The inventory type selected will determine which fields are available to fill out. Notice by default, the general type will only show standard fields such as name, quantity, catalog number, lot number, expiration. You'll also notice the fields with an asterisk are required fields. If you select a different inventory type, such as antibody, you will notice the standard fields and non-standard fields that pertain just to the antibody type. To specify a location for this item, click the No Location Set link. This will open up the locations that have been set up for your lab. Select a location or a sub-location. If this item is located in a freezer box, follow the location hierarchy to this freezer box level. A grid for the freezer box will display, and you can specify each cell where this item will be located. You also have the option to add a note for other lab members to see, and then click OK. In addition to adding information about the item, you have the option to receive notifications for when this item's expiration date is approaching or when the item's quantity drops below a certain quantity. When you check the checkbox when this item's expiration date is approaching, you will be able to select the number of days prior to an item's expiration date to be notified. To select this option, the inventory item must have an expiration date set. When you check the checkbox when this item's quantity drops below a certain quantity, you are able to select a quantity number and unit of measurement. If you have files containing supplemental information about this item, you can add them as an attachment. Drag and drop files or click here to upload. You can add PDF, image, text, chemical, and DNA sequence files. Please see our knowledge base for a full list of accepted file extensions. With our default chemical inventory type, you can search for a chemical using a CAS number. Input a CAS number in this field and then click look up. You'll then notice that the chemical safety, formula, molecular weight, and smile structure fields are filled in for you. If you have not entered a name before doing the lookup, it will also add the chemical name for you. But this will not overwrite an existing name you have already given this item. After an item has been created in Lab Archives inventory, the item quantity, units, and location can be updated and edited directly from the item details tab. Any edits will be recorded in the item's history. For more information on Lab Archives inventory, click the help icon and select knowledge base. And as always, please don't hesitate to contact support at labarchives.com if you have any questions. To subscribe to our videos, click the Lab Archives logo on the left. For additional training videos, click on the link to the right.